weekend in Columbus, the girls' state gymnastics meet gets underway with team competition on Friday, followed by the individuals on Saturday. And the team to beat, once again, are the Lady Bees of Brexville, who have been unbeatable for now more than a decade. That is so amazing. Sports anchor Mike Cairns joins us now with one of the most incredible records in all of sports. It really is, and I don't know if you can find anywhere where this has been beaten, but this record is just absolutely unheard of. And when you look up the word dominant in the dictionary, I'm telling you what, there should be a picture of the Brexville gymnastics team there. What these ladies have accomplished over the past 10 years is a run like none other in the world of sports. The Brexville girls gymnastics team is working at keeping one of the longest winning streaks alive of any kind. Currently we're 766 and 0. You heard that right. The Lady Bees are heading to the state championships in Columbus this weekend in search of their 10th straight state championship and 777 straight dual meet wins if they can pull it off. I can't find a team and I've searched or even a, a individual that has that kind of record. Arms up, arms up, Gabby. A big reason is Ben Maria's family, who's coached Brexville Gymnastics for more than four decades. Along with her mom, Joan, and the family gym here in Broadview Heights, these Brexville girls have been here almost their entire lives. Like third grade, I worked out with them because I, like, I just trained all the time, and like, I just was always like, oh, I want to be on the team. I want to be on the team. Most of us on this team have been going here forever, our whole life, or since we were, you know, in the single digits. <laughs> so we know each other. We know the team. We know the record. The B's record has been unblemished now for 10 years, and every gymnast coming in knows about it. I would say there's a lot of pressure for all of us. I mean. Keep making having that tenth title in a row, it's pretty nerve wracking to keep it going. They don't want to be the first team that loses. None of the girls do. And we tell them it's going to happen at some point. It, you know, you can't go for this ride forever. Or can they? Brexville is one of five Northeast Ohio teams currently competing in this weekend's state meet. And if they should win a tenth straight title, the team will have won. 777 consecutive dual meets. Now keep in mind, this is a public school and this is not an open enrollment school. These are all Brexville Broadview Heights individuals that have accomplished this over the last Did 10 years. Did you see the trophy show? I know. <laughs> it's overwhelming. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, that's from gymnastics world. So that's also, that's, oh, that's over a long period of time right. that the Schneider family has, has put it together. But the run that they are on. Well, so what's the secret? Like homegrown talent. That's a, most of these girls have been together, as you heard Mia say, since they were in the single digits. They're one of the greatest single quotes digits. of all yeah, time. All my life since I was in single digits. Since she, yeah, two, three that. years old, that. these young ladies have been on the mat. So they've been together, some of them, for 10, 12, 13 years by the time they get to the high school level. That's uh, incredible. That's, that's, that's teamwork that's right there. Incredible. Commitment, a real commitment. Good luck this weekend. They're going to be tough Go to beat. Go for it. Go for it. Thanks, Mike.